What's going on, everybody? Happy, happy Thursday. Well, got a little PSA in today during the old uh, lunch hour. And I wanted to get a video out onto it. Um, I was really happy overall with it. I know you guys are going to be kind of shocked because it's not a whole lot of tens in it, but this stuff was older. And we're going to take a look at it here. Uh, it should be nine cards total I had done. Real, like I said, I'm really, really happy. I'll probably talk a little bit on some of these cards, and that'll be it. All right, this I picked up a while back, probably about, I don't know, four or six weeks ago. Probably about close to four. This came back really quick from PSA, this order, now that I think about it. Uh, this is the Topps Chrome Dwayne Wade, Rookie, nine. And I said I was looking at this when I did the pre-analysis on this stuff. I called this a nine. Uh, possibly could have came back at 10. I very rarely call 10s, by the way, uh, when you guys really look at this stuff. But really happy with it. I think I paid 30 or 40 for this. So 50 in grading. Uh, it sells for around 120 so a little bit of profit. Not much, but, you know, you got to take what we can with this stuff anymore. So, again, Dwayne Wade, Topps Chrome Rookie, 9. Next card I picked up in Salem, Indiana. Trevor Lawrence on campus. Got this relatively cheap, I remember. Um, I was probably, there was something on to over in here, and I can't see it now. And I said if they catch it, it would come back a 9, which, of course, they caught it. So, 9 on you on campus. These, I think, raw are still around 150 ish so... Uh, still good profit, very good profit on this being a nine. It'll probably go for around maybe, I don't know, maybe maybe nines were doing one fifty. I can't remember. I thought Raw was doing one fifty. Now, now I'm second guessing myself, but pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff so far. All right, next one I whatnot from uh, the Monster Den, Mister Jacob himself. Uh, he's probably super happy because I think today was the last day for all the Taco Bells. To get the Mexican pizza back. Alright. Chronicles. Brett Favre. This is the pink. And you can, the way you can tell is off of this piece here. I found out. Nine. Just as I thought. Uh, I think we were talking. This card was around $200 raw. Uh, being out of. I think it was out of 10. Oh yeah. There it is. Out of 10. So this gives it a little bit more value on to it. I, I paid dirt cheap on this. Um. It came out really good. It has some room for it to move and everything. So, again, really, really happy on that. The next card I picked up with the Dwayne Wade. This here was going around 60 raw. I gave him, I want to say it was either 80 or 90 for both his Jordan and the uh, Dwayne Wade card. Now, nines on this are doing around 200. People are actually calling these refractors, and when they do for some reason, it's selling for absurd amounts. And I pity the people to actually think this is a refractor, because if you look, there's nothing on this that says refractor, nothing like that on the back. Um, it's just the way they made these cars, but people call them refractors. So $200 as a nine, really happy with that. There's a good bit of profit into that. Alright, next one I did part of a trade. Wander Franco, Topps debut. This is numbered out of 50, came back at 10. Really, really happy on this. It, there, if there was one card, well, actually there were two cards in the whole order I wanted to do really well. This was one of them. Um, really nice auto, even though it's a sticker and everything. It came off sticker, otherwise I would have probably graded the auto too. But real nice being out of 50. 42 out of 50. Don't know the price on that, to be honest. Alright, next one I picked up in Salem, too. Um, this would have been close to six weeks ago, roughly. Now, I'm going to show you guys this. This is the upper deck glass, but this is the crystal. These are very hard to find. It came back a 9. These were not redemptions like how Panini did, does them in Absolute. I believe it was the glasses. 
and to see, it's right here if I can get to show. There we go. Numbered out of 100. That's how you know it's the crystal. This is the only one graded by PSA. Beckett, one graded, 8.5. So I have no idea where these are at. A lot of people mislabel these as the just the upper deck glass. If you ever see one, it has a serial number out of 100. It's the crystal out of it. It's more valuable. Um, I lost out to one a while back on eBay. I think I talked about this in overtime. And it, it went dirt cheap. I should have bid more on it. I was just being selfish and greedy in a way, thinking I'd get it a lot lower. But I ended up finding this, um, I don't know what it was, six, six, seven, eight months later to show. So realistically, this is the highest grade, the only one graded by PSA out there. Really nice card, especially when you're talking about 03 to come back at 9. And these were inserted into the packs themselves. So really cool. So I went, originally when I was looking at this, I was thinking it was going to come back a 7 or 8 because of this at the bottom. But they gave it a 9 because it's a known thing that on the bottom of these, the paint itself never secured like the lamination piece to it like it did on top. So really happy, 9 on this Kobe Bryant. Crystal Upper Deck Glass was what it was called. You have the plex, you have the base cards, the plexiglass, then the crystals on these. Crystals are the most rare. I can't tell you how many breaks I was in back in the day onto this stuff. And yes, they did these on US Stream. Breaks were on there. Hobby Insider Net. And the, I can't remember the other one too. But uh, breaks, breakers weren't like real plentiful like they are now. All right, next one. Both of actually, oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna switch these around, just because this was picked up in Louisville as well. We already knew this was gonna come back in eight. My prediction, by the way, on the Bryant was seven, hopefully an eight. Um, Bobby Orr, I just said flat out should be an eight onto it. Had a little bit of whiting, and it was somewhere. I guess I saw more underneath the scope than anything. But uh, 8 on this, there is some higher graded ones out there. Not many, of course. But Bobby Orr, one of the greats into hockey. I wanted to pick something up with his auto on to it. Because a lot of times, you know, these guys' stuff just go up for no reason at all. Yeah, it's nice to have a Bobby Orr auto again. I used to pull a lot of his stuff back in the day when I was opening wax. Alright, these last two... I got for I want to say it was 160 I think I don't remember now first one is the ultimate you guys remember upper deck ultimate was an expensive product back in the day Joe Montana Jersey card out of 175 raw these are going anywhere 7500 bucks I was hoping just to get this graded um, eventually towards the set itself but it is what it is with being a 9 onto it. Um, this is going to be something that's probably going to be a lifelong thing on to doing these. I really want to do all 10s in this set, which is going to be hard. Oh, come on, focus again. But you got Brady and stuff into this too. But out of 175, I believe there is only one other of these great. I'm going to pull this up real quick because now I don't remember the stats onto this. But really nice piece. A lot of people are always like, oh, why do you grade jersey cards and stuff like that? I just do. I just want to preserve this stuff, to be honest. And it does add value for the set builders that are out there. This is part of the set registry for a number of Joe Montana pieces. I think this is a... Oh, i got to verify my human again. Hold on. The last one you guys are going to be in shock with. Like I, This order here, I t told people this is one for the ages for me. Because some of this stuff did better than what I thought, being as old as it was. Still verifying I'm a human. Sorry, guys. There we go. So, pop three on this, only one higher. So, this is my second one as a nine, by the way. But these were really good condition. Um, possibility I was hoping to get a ten on to one, eventually. But cool piece. Last one. Dan Marino. Same thing. 04 Ultimate. But this is the Ultimate Patch. You had the game jerseys. Then you had a the more limited one with the upper deck patches. This one here. 
pretend as a three color patch. This is a pop one, none higher. No other one out there like this. And it's on the set registry with a lot of stuff um, for damn Marino collectors out there. Numbered out of 150. I think it's underneath. I can't believe it's just not focusing. It might just be the way I'm doing this with the glare. There we go. But uh, I know it's at least in one set. I think it's the super set on to this. So again, for a Dan Marino collector, this is really big for the set registry and got it done. I was not expecting 10s on these. I said 8s with a pot with uh, strong 9s. I I'm still in shock this 10. When I saw on to... Everybody knows the trick with the PSA registry I showed in the video a while back. I had this and the Favre come back at AN. Well, I was thinking that they weren't going to be great at all. Because they, they, it could be a thing where they say it doesn't meet minimal size, whatever. But I found out with the more limited stuff that there's nothing graded. If it NANs, it means there's never been one graded before. And they have to create all that to push it uh, out. Again, it's in the set registry, but nobody's ever had one graded. So the points and all that was all screwed up on it. That one and the FAR both had that NAN on to it. So really shocked on this. Um... I was pretty close on all the grades. This here really shocked me being from 03, Upper Deck Glass, the Crystal, uh, Kobe Bryant. Really good card out of 100. You don't see these very often come about. The Franco being a 10, marvelous, thank you. And then I was hoping this would not hit 8, but it was just borderline a 9 in my opinion, so happy there. But like I was telling him, I said, man, this is one for the ages. I don't think I could ever say that I put two cards in there where I never knew one was never graded before. And then the other one just popped completely way different than what I thought grading. And for the better, you know. So it does pay off with the scope on this stuff and everything. Alright guys, that's it for the video. Um, tomorrow I got some errands to run. Uh, I got a, so I'll be in and out throughout the day. So if you guys try to reach me, it's going to be very, very limited. And then Saturday's the show because i got to get everything ready for it. Um, after that, pretty much back to normal business as usual. I only have three more orders out of PSA. One Modern, which is in QA2. An Economy that just got there and Research and ID. And one Ultra Modern left out there. So they are catching up big time out there. My thing is I think they're still waiting to get all this caught up and then release it right after the National. If not at the National, it was like a big, you know, shocker to everybody type deal. But all right, guys, let me know what you all think. Um, I'm out for today. If I don't do any videos for Saturday or Sunday, or Saturday or Sunday, wait, this is a Thursday video. So, yeah, if I don't do any videos for Friday or Saturday, you guys have a good, safe weekend out there. And I will catch you guys after the show. I might go live a couple times out there from the show just to mess around uh, with the new phone and everything that I got. Well, back about five months ago, new phone. Just to get some more usage out of it and everything. Alright, take care. Have a good one, everybody.